So you look at the Vatican and you realize this thing is really a big snake wearing a crown. which is beyond insane. And then you look at the mouth of the serpent and it's a bunch of angels coming into the mouth of a serpent. Then you realize the mouth of the serpent is the opening to the female reproductive system. And then you see the chair of St. Peter is a male penis. So you have male and female reproductive systems. And the Bible says, Elohim said, let us create man in our image. The word Elohim, it means God's plural of the supreme God, angels. So in the image of Elohim created he him male and female created he them so here you have people singing to lucifer inside of a snake there's no doubt about it five different guys singing to lucifer donning his own creation inside of a serpent who's the enemy of god the serpent satan the dragon the devil they're all one and the same revelation 12 that old dragon was cast out that old serpent called the devil and satan Okay, so now here is the premise. You have a serpent that has angels going into the mouth, period. Okay, so let's go back to the beginning of time and let's start things with a bunch of angels based on this sculpture coming into the system. Also based on the Bible, and I'll tell you what I mean in just a moment. The Bible says, who can make straight the word make straight means equalize to make equal that which elohim has turned upside down so the host body i'm telling you and i can show you over and over and over again is a mechanism it's a machine for turning god's angels upside down and getting their souls their energy now here's another scripture in the bible elohim said let us create man in our image and then Proverbs 25, it is the glory of Elohim to conceal a thing, the reason for being. It's the glory of Elohim to conceal it. Jesus said, I've done nothing in secret. But it's the glory of Elohim to conceal it. So here you go. If you're an angel coming into the host body system, you're rebelling against the Lord God by taking on a body and then you're trapped in the serpent system inside of a host body. And then if you don't get converted before you die, then your your soul goes to the pit. So what would be the number one thing the serpent race would try and do? Never let the angels that are coming into the system know the truth. Because you'll know the truth and the truth will set you free. So no matter what, don't let the angels that are coming into the mouth of a snake wearing a crown, don't let those angels that are coming into our system, into our place, don't let them ever know the truth. Keep them worshiping false idols, false gods, false religions, false doctrines. But if they get turned right side up, if they get turned the opposite direction, then they see the truth and they realize they're prisoners. Here. It's the most obvious thing in the world now. So when you're an angel and you get converted, the word converted means turned quite around. Well, all of a sudden you can see the truth. You can see the truth in everything. It's everywhere all the time. It's like you were a tree in the forest and you got picked up by a helicopter and you got removed out of the miles and miles of forest and you got set in a clear opening looking back at the forest and you can finally see what you were in. That means set apart. We've been set apart. What do you think set apart means? We got set apart from them. But we were them. Until you get converted, you are them. That's all there is to it. Welcome to the world of good and evil. Hopefully you get converted and your sins get paid for.